Tetley's have sent me here to Huddersfield, home of Rugby League and the Huddersfield Giants, and I'm joined by none other than England cricketer Ryan Sidebottom. Ryan, good to meet you. Thank you. So, um, it's not all cricket with you. How long have you been a Rugby League fan? I think since uh, probably the age of 11. My dad took me to my first game. I think it was Bradford and Sheffield Eagles at the time, yeah. um, and I was hooked ever since. I, I just love the game. Um, I have a lot of admiration for the players and what they do, and you know, it's great entertainment. Yeah, yeah. You know, it's a fantastic sport, and I really love it. And I've been hooked ever since. You yeah. know, I just I go as much as I can when, I, when I'm not playing. So, what's your best memories then of actually watching them? You no, know, I, th I think fondest memories probably not games, but just meeting other, yeah. other players and meeting. You know, met Earl and you know met Gareth Carvel and a lot of other rugby league players. And I think that just to me, they're my heroes. And yeah, yeah. you know, watching these guys is, is absolutely amazing. But what is it about rugby league that actually attracts you? Like, is it the physical side of it, or just the? Uh just the enjoyment of the whole game. Well, but being a cricketer, we normally run off for rain or <laughs> yeah, yeah. when it's a bit cloudy. So, you know, I, I think just the whole round sport, you know, what, what they do, they put the bodies on the line. They're all big lads, you know, they all they all look like yeah, athletes. Yeah. And um, I think it's just amazing entertainment, the game in general. It's a family sport. I just, you know, a lot of admiration for what these guys do. So if you could turn back the clock, do you think you'd, uh, would you like to be a rugby league player rather than cricket? <sighs> Probably I'd have to say no, definitely not. I, I think I played one game at school and I got clattered <laughs> in the first minute. So you didn't like the beatings? That put me off ever okay. since, so I think I'd rather be in the stands. So on to the Tetley's Challenge Cup, down to the last eight. Who's your, who's your money on? Well, being a Huddersfield lad, I'd have to say Huddersfield, you know, they're, they're that, strong. Really? They're, you know, they're going really well in the league. Um, you know, they're, they're just a quality side in all positions and, you know, they're the strongest at the moment. You know, they're in good form scoring lots of tries and they've got a great defence, so yeah. you know, if I'm going to tip anyone, it'd have to be Huddersfield. On to cricket, along with rugby, it's hugely popular in this area. Uh, was there ever a chance you were going to be anything other than a cricketer? I put my hand to a little bit of football, but oh, you did? I was a bit of a donkey, to be honest. So <laughs> it was always going to be cricket. You yeah. know, I grew up from a cricket background. My, you know, my dad played a little bit for Yorkshire. And OK, yeah, it ran in the family. It's in the blood, then. So, yeah, it was in the blood. It was, yeah. I think cricket, I was hopeless at school, so it was always going to be cricket, I think. But, you know, being a sportsman, as you know, you, you just watch all of the sports. Yeah. So, you know, I love going and watching golf and sitting at home on Sky, watching all, all kinds of sport, you know, tennis, anything. So you tried everything? Realise that cricket was the one. Yeah, I think I think you do. You, you try everything, yeah. don't you? Yeah. Especially at school, you, you know, you want to put your hands out as much as possible. I hated being in the classroom, so it's always going to be sport. I think. <laughs> yeah. As we know, Ashes are about to start. So, tell any non-cricket fans out there what to expect about the Ashes. I think it's been a great summer of sport already for for England, especially. I think it's going to be hard fought. I think England are probably the strongest team on yeah. on paper, on form as well. Um, you know, Australia have had a few ups and downs the last 18 months, but I think. Both sides, bowling-wise, are, are similar. Um, they've got good young fast bowlers of Australia and so of England. I think England will edge it through, with the batting. Uh, they're probably a little bit stronger. Um, but again, I think you know we've seen in the Ashes 2009 and the amount of support the Barmy Army. Yeah, yeah. You know, it means a lot to a lot yeah. of English people, especially you know thrashing the Aussies. Yeah, you course. can't get much better than that in, right. in any any sport. So it's going to be hard fought, but I think England will probably win. You know, two one, three one. Money's on, why is money's on England then? Definitely on England. That's good to hear. So um, finally, back to rugby league again. What would be your dream scenario in this season's Tetley Challenge Cup final? Well, it'd have to be a Huddersfield in the final, probably against maybe Wigan or Warrington. Yeah, yeah. You know, big final. Um, but I, I think again, just you know, we've seen on. I've watched a lot of games on Sky this year already, and it's just been amazing. You know, yeah. all teams. There've been a lot of close games and hard fought games. And I think. You know, Huddersfield to win, you know, they've, they've been pushing every year, improving every year, and I think this year is their year to, to win the yeah. Challenge Cup. Great to meet you. Thanks very much. Cheers. Same to you too, mate.